10 times the royal family was rude to Meghan Markle? Part 3. Under the rug. It's probably too much to ask a monarchy dating back to the 9th century to change its ways when it comes to social issues. But times have changed, and it would be refreshing to see the royal family take a progressive stance when it comes to racism. Rather than stand firm against the racist taunts that Meghan endured, they let the taunts play on and this could be another thing that pushed Meghan and Harry to leave. Let me know what you think. No one had her back. It is no secret Meghan dealt with a world of nastiness once becoming a part of the royal family. But this hate was answered to nothing at all. No one defending Meghan. Would Kate have been treated differently? Would the royal family have insisted on changes? Meghan thinks so. And in fact, Harry implored the Queen to do something, but his requests fell on deaf ears. The press, media, and public went for Meghan's throat and she stood alone with Harry. Being labeled constantly. Walk a mile in her shoes. Meghan may not be perfect, but she also deals with constant hate and not only from the public, but the staff that is meant to support her. Calling her the Duchess of Difficulty and Me Gain, the staff threw around hurtful words, many of them. Spread love, not hate. Why can't we be optimistic? Why is it such a sin that I try to be optimistic? I see the comments saying this kid is oblivious and maybe you're right or maybe I'm just not quick to judge someone I have never met, like the majority of people in the comments. Kate and Harry. The key words and phrases here are according to sources and reportedly Kate Middleton took the time to warn Prince Harry about bringing Meghan into the royal family when her marriage to Prince William was announced in 2010. Now we can look at this glass as half full or half empty. Half full, which is my favorite way of looking at it, can look at this as a way of Kate saying, I got introduced to the royal family as a commoner, and it is very difficult to adjust and can become overwhelming. Just thought I'd give you a heads up. I'm not going to look at the glass half empty perspective because the comments do that for me. Haha. <laughs> Alleged alliance. <clears throat> This is just silly, but it is unfortunately a highly reported subject. One to which I don't believe, but don't let my opinion waver. Let me know what you think. Some media outlets look at the last discussed point to be Kate's warning Harry about bringing Meghan into the family, stemming from the alleged secret alliance between the Queen and Kate. Reportedly, the Queen had concerns about Meghan doing something to jeopardize her royal title and enlisted Kate to try to guide Meghan. I just personally don't think this is something the late queen would have done, but maybe I'm just too optimistic. Kate and Meghan. The two have had definite ups and downs throughout the time Meghan was introduced into the royal family. This feud between the two hit the media heavily and on both sides a different story is told. In past videos we have talked about Kate's side of the story, but this video we will go over Meghan's. According to Meghan, Kate was the one who made her cry during a disagreement about dresses. That was a turning point. The narrative with Kate, it didn't happen, Meghan said during an interview on CBS in March 2021. A few days before the wedding, she was upset about flower girl dresses and it made me cry. It really hurt my feelings. She was upset about something, but she owned it and she apologized. And she brought me flowers and a note apologizing. And she did what I would do if I knew that I hurt someone. Right, to just take accountability for it. The story is flipped according to Kate. Word against word, so none of us without being there can be certain, nor is it fair to be. But I'm curious to know your opinion on this incident. Shaded for being a divorcee. Of course, when you think of a bride on her wedding day, you think white dress and white veil, which is the attire to which Meghan wore at her wedding, as per expected, but maybe not by all. According to inside sources, which means there could be a twisting of words, but apparently Meghan was questioned for wearing a veil, as she has been prior married. I mean, I've learned a decent amount about Meghan and Harry's wedding, and she was dealing with enough to now get added shade thrown on her big day. Another example of how Meghan was constantly reminded that she was different from what the royal family envisioned from their newest member. Meghan denied help. Meghan had this to say about this incident. One of the things that still haunts me is this photograph that someone has sent me. We had to go to an official event at the Royal Albert Hall. Meghan recalled of the January 2019 event. A friend said, I know that you don't look at pictures, but oh my God, you guys look so great and send it to me. I zoomed in and what I saw was the truth of what that moment was. Because right before we had to leave for that, I had just told Harry that I didn't want to be alive anymore that morning. Meghan went on to claim that she told the family that she wanted to seek treatment, but was told that it wouldn't be a good look for the institution. Meghan noted that she went because she warned Harry that she couldn't be left alone, she explained. And that picture, if you zoom in, what I see is how tightly his knuckles are gripped around me. You can see the whites of our knuckles because we are smiling and doing our job, but we are both just trying to hold on. 
People can argue she is lying all they want, but at the end of the day, we've seen many times before, people so much in the public eye gain mental health struggles, and it's always best to support them than hate them. Forced out or left? When the news broke that Meghan and Harry were leaving England for the US, it seemed like they had made their decision unequivocally. But was their hand forced? Film producer Tom Bradby, who attended the Sussex wedding, claims that the royal family leaked news of the split before the couple was ready. There is no doubt Harry and Meghan feel that they have been driven out, Bradby said. One report from an anonymous source suggests that it was at the Queen's urging. She didn't point her fingers or start making accusations, but in her own diplomatic way, suggested that they'd be happier living outside the palace and they'd be better off moving. I believe that they were seeking to live and gain more privacy, but I don't think that decision was entirely up to them. No jewelry for you. Not talking about the tiara this time, rather Princess Diana's jewelry upset over some of Meghan's perceived efforts to buck royal convention. The Queen refused Meghan access to the collection. She had Prince Charles deliver the bad news that she would not be able to wear any of the said jewelry. This must have been very upsetting for Meghan as she watched Kate wear some of the jewelry in question on the news. Thanks for watching.